on, everybody. Hey guys. Welcome back to East Africa with Willie and Rachel. We're super excited to be sitting with you again. Yes, we are. And Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hallelujah. So, we're continuing to talk about the Christmas season and what this means to us. Jesus yeah. Christ being born of a virgin, born and birthed into this world by the Word of God, yep. by the Holy Spirit. And it's just awesome. It's been amazing. Amen. Yeah, this has been a great series because. We've been talking about not just the actual Christmas story, mm. which we'll probably get to, mm -hmm. where we're talking about the manger and all of that. We're talking about all of the things mm -hmm. throughout the history of the world, yeah. history of mankind, yeah. that led up to the birth of Jesus, yes. the fulfillment <laughs> of so many different things. The word which God spoke to the serpent mm. that day in the garden, saying that, he was sending one yeah. that would that the the serpent would bruise his head, but he would crush, bruise his heel. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> that's how it is. So we see that in Genesis three, and then we see all of these prophecies begin to happen mm -hmm. throughout the Word mm -hmm. that come to the fulfillment of the birth of Jesus and Amen. what that meant for all of us. Mm -hmm. When we read the Word in so many places, it is because of the birth of Jesus. And the resurrection of Jesus. Amen. Every promise that we have mm -hmm. in Christ are yeah. all because that day he said yes and God sent him mm -hmm. to be born. I know. I'm going to look at a prophecy here in just a minute in Isaiah 9, 6. Isaiah gives us several prophecies about mm -hmm. Jesus, about his coming, about his birth, about the virgin birth, yeah. and a lot about the crucifixion as well. Um, this says, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be Wonderful, mm. Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, mm. of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Mm. Uh, let me just read this, upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with the government and justice for from that time forward even forever the zeal of the lord of hosts will perform this amen talking about once this happens it mm -hmm. is forever amen which is an incredible thing to see mm. that jesus was going to usher in this time this new time in history that would last forever. Yeah. Amen. That was his birth. <clears throat> and then when he was raised from the dead, that went boom. Yeah. Amen. We were able to receive all of this. And what I love, Willie, about this is even though Isaiah is prophesying this to so many, really what Paul talks about a lot in the epistles and Ephesians is the mystery, the mystery, the mystery. Yeah. hidden throughout the ages mm -hmm. you know because it wasn't fully revealed we mm -hmm. see glimpses of it mm -hmm. we get small understandings like you said there was an anticipation yeah. amongst the jews they mm -hmm. knew something mm -hmm. was coming mm -hmm. they were waiting awaiting a savior mm -hmm. but the mystery they didn't expect a baby born in a manger yeah yeah, there's so much about it that, although openly revealed through Scripture, was to a natural carnal mm -hmm. mind, uh, couldn't really grasp it. Yeah. Without the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, this I just when I read those scriptures, the mystery hidden from the ages, and that was revealed now in us. It these different things that Paul talks about. It is really incredible to to understand that. God's love story to us mm -hmm. was being played out yeah. throughout history. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful one. There was a lot that went into the right time period for Jesus to be born. Mm -hmm. We even see here Jesus going to sit uh, upon the throne of David over mm -hmm. his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Jesus came through that lineage of David. And there were just many factors that played into the right preparation mm -hmm. for mankind to receive. Yeah this savior amen god awaited for the perfect timing and if you're alive right now you know you have a reason to say thank you oh yeah i'm born into this time period i'm amen. born into this 
day and age where I am receiving mm. the fulfillment of these promises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an incredible thing. I mean, we could have yeah. been born at any time in history, but right now you're living in a time where you get to say yes to all of what Jesus did. Amen. Through his birth and through his death. Amen. And that's amazing, mm -hmm. Willie. Amen. When we think about it. And there's so much into this, you know, and upon, it says, and the government will be upon his shoulder. Mm -hmm. A government is what controls the process of things. Mm -hmm. We know there's good governments and bad governments and mm -hmm. there's earthly governments. You see, but Jesus set up his government. Mm -hmm. It's not an earthly government. Yeah, his kingdom. Yeah. His kingdom wasn't earthly. Mm -hmm. His kingdom, his government, the way things would be done mm -hmm. in his kingdom come through him in us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Through him living and operating yeah, amen. through us. Amen. That's what his birth brought into this world. Yeah. Was a way to say, this is how you were. Mm -hmm. This is how things were done. Mm -hmm. Now, this is how things are going to be done. Amen. That covenant of peace, that covenant of grace was established Amen. on the earth. That is what he established. Mm -hmm. And that changed everything for us. It changed. It changed. It, it rocked the foundations of the world. Praise mm -hmm. God. This was the turning point. And for the believer, like what Rach is talking about, we have to esteem it in, in to put it in its right context. That without this, you know, some people's life, if if they went from believing in the mm -hmm. Lord to not believing in the Lord, the only thing that would change for them is they would do something else on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But for us believers yeah. who have bet our life on the fact, like Paul said, I have committed to yeah. him and am confident that he is able to keep that which I have mm -hmm. committed to him. How are you worded that? But that we have committed our life to him. Mm -hmm. And like... Some people kind of are, um, look at the Christian faith like, well, it's as good as any other or it's better than some other religion. I've actually heard people talk about that before. Oh, yeah, yeah I've heard it compared. <laughs> but we believe this not because it's we think it's a better religion. We believe it because we believe it. Mm -hmm. Like this is, Jesus said, he is the way. Mm -hmm. And part of that is believing in the fact that Jesus Christ was born. Mm -hmm. 2,000 years ago, that night was the beginning of the life of the, of the redemption we would receive, praise God. And to begin to grasp a hold of that, to begin to grasp a hold of the things that Rachel's talking about, the, the weightiness of it can carry you through a lot. Because it also, Rach, these things we're supposed to hold on dearly to our hearts because these help us in all kinds of times. Like mm -hmm. if you can hold on to this and like the little things that happen in this earth sometimes that really get our focus off of moving forward with the Lord mm -hmm. are so little and yeah. insignificant. They don't, they're not weighty like these things that we're talking about right here. And if we put our mind on these and some of these things, you might be thinking to yourself, yeah. wow, you know, I believe this stuff, but I don't know. Do I believe it that much? Don't get rocked. You believe it. Praise God. However, it's a good opportunity to, to you look in your own heart and say, Lord, I've considered doubt yeah. in these areas. And like, how could this be? And how could this happen? Da, 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 da. I'm going to start studying your word and I'm going to set my focus on there right. to where I know that I'm not just going to like kind of say, yeah, I believe it, but I'm going to wrap my heart around these things. Absolutely. Because this is huge, yeah. and this is something that had to take place yeah. for Jesus to live on this earth and to, for, for it to be a fulfillment of the promises yeah. of who he was. Mm -hmm. He had to be born. Amen. This was the beginning he had of to that be life. Born. It was the beginning, you Amen. guys. All right. We love you. We want to say Merry Christmas and send us your prayer requests. Mm -hmm to WhatsApp. We would love to connect with you guys Amen. and just hear from you. We love you and be blessed.